How's it going guys? It's me Simon and this is part 2 of the Stanley Parable. Let's carry on with the game. Okay. Let's carry on playing. Let's see what we can do. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? We Stanley so decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, Let's turn he couldn't find computers. a trace of his co-workers. This time we're not gonna leave. We're gonna solve this mystery. Gotta go a different route though. No. That just looks like the freedom. The two doors again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, let's not listen to him this time. Go right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, I don't and care. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Let's rebel. Ah, yes. Truly a room Ooh. worth admiring. Soda. It had really been worth the detour after all, is just to spend price? a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Give me some Stanley soda. simply stood here, drinking it all in. I had to drink it all in. Well, didn't get soda. Can't undo the blinds. Nope. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even Coffee. though all your co-workers have yeah. mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. <laughs> but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Wait. No, let's not listen to him. Let's carry on going. Whoa. Where are we now? Stanley was so bad at following directions that <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Let's climb the ladder. Ah, I forgot my swipe card. Ooh, can we ride the fork? No. Wait, what's this side? Do not jump from cargo lift while in motion will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, 1,000. Penalty from jumping off the cargo lift, 5,000. Okay, let's go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Who? Someone you've forgotten about. Who have I forgotten about? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Who's she? Who's this her you're talking about? This is about? it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside, to let her back into your life. She's been waiting. She's been waiting for me. Ooh. Let's go into this super dark room. Okay. Whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do I'm this. I'm in this room, it's just a phone. Her. If you can truly place your faith in another, okay. then pick up the phone. Deal or no deal. Okay. What's happening now? Whoa. Room 427. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Bread out the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Some kind oh, of mannequin woman. On. 
Did you actually think you had a loving wife who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point so here, sad. Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Okay. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Oh, this is my apartment. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. What? Press T on the keyboard. Okay. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Hey, baby. How you doing? Please press C. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly Wait, what he's told to do. It's a room changing. Now he's pushing a button. It's a room changing. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. What? Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Press night. Come on, baby. We can leave this place. Just you and me. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Okay, so Stanley is a daydreamer. Press E to watch TV. I don't think I have a TV in this beautiful house. Oh, there's a TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. It's turned in. First, he imagined that one day while at work, clock. he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press set to spend time with work. I got children. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. If I press a different the button. mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful Can I exit to the behold. Door? Let me up. What if I press five? I can press five. Five. Five's not working. Seven then. Whoa. As he wandered through this fantasy world, Wait he began minute. to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. This is changing back to the office. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Uh, wait. And I down another was a yellow line that weaved in many oh. directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Ha uh ha. -huh. This... It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. <laughs> but there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. So we just go around and around which again. Which life is the real one? Around and around, around and around. And I'm trying to tell him this: that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this, Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Press H to be at work in the morning. I'm not gonna press it. My hands are here. Okay. We could be here for a while. Maybe I should press it. No. I can't fall for it. Look at, let's look at the time. It's home time. It's past five o'clock. Come on. Okay, I'll just go press it and see what happens. You see, <laughs> can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Press M to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. 
We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Ah, here's my computer. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll hey, see. Hey, I've got a message. Maybe this time. And I tried He's again. dying. And Stanley pushed a button. What? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. He's dying. And I tried. This, did I just die? Okay. <laughs> I think I just died. If you enjoyed this gameplay video, leave me a like and please consider subscribing if you want more content like this. Okay, thank you for watching. Peace. Coming waves across the shore Oh, maybe you could fly my kite, babe